what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Warning. Moving to Canada will not save you from racism. Like America, Canada loves its racist. Oh yeah, protects them too. And they got a bunch of them on the police force, just like America. Oh man, I keep seeing these videos of Canadian police officers abusing, brutalizing, misusing, murdering, violating black people. There's a video out right now of some Canadian police officers, some in plain clothes, some in uniform, who ran up in this woman's salon, this black woman's salon, without a warrant. In fact, they showed her, she said, a fake warrant. They ran up in her salon she said that they twisted her arm and punched her in the face. This is Canada. This is not, this is not America, family. It's St. Alabama or New York or L.A. or Houston or Birmingham or Lake Charles, Colfax. This ain't New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Dallas, Austin. Sacramento, San Diego, Chicago, Flint. This is not Cleveland, Cincinnati. This is not uh, Utah. This is not Boston, Milwaukee, Connecticut, North Carolina, South Carolina, North Dakota, South. You know, it's, it's none of the cities and states in America. This is Canada. That's how they get out. Canada is like America's, Canada is America's brother. You know, they're, they're siblings. So they come from the same uh, lineage and they, they want to be America so bad. They want to be just like America in so many ways. I'm always looking up seeing racist videos coming out of Canada. And they're not just racist toward the blacks, they're racist toward the, the Hispanic community. They're racist toward Asians. Uh, there are some racist people out there. Don't get it twisted. So they violated this woman and they went inside of her shop and took some things out. Again, family, no warrant. What do you do when you are being violated, accosted with tyranny? First law of nature self preservation. You know, I ain't got to say it, fam. Y'all know what it is. They straight up violated this woman, and the only there was one bl black man, there was one man that was on the scene and he was talking, but he wasn't doing anything. Like he was talking, the women were a lot more aggressive with, with their speech than he was. He was kind of, he was talking, but he was docile. My thing is that if you're going to be a, a, a bystander, be a bystander. Shut up. Don't say anything. But if you're gonna if you're gonna inject yourself into the situation and have a little no have a little have some nuts. Damn. How is it that the women are so much more aggressive than so many of these men? Now, I know it's a time and place for everything. Some people see the video and say, oh, man, you know, she, you know, she shouldn't have been so loud. And, man, anything could have happened. And, man, listen, man, you don't know 
how you'll respond in that situation until you're in that situation. This is a business owner. This is a woman who pays her taxes just like everybody else. She's earning an honest living and somebody just comes into her business and raids her business without any uh, provocation. They just go right on in on her, man, and start taking stuff out of her business. They don't have a warrant or anything. So you're supposed to just sit back and say, well, I understand, officer. Yes. Okay, officer. Okay, I'll get out of the way. I'll step outside. The woman was like, no, let me see what's going on inside my damn building, inside my business, man. For all I know, y'all could be planting drugs in here. And you know how they get down. They do plant drugs. They do plant other evidence that has already been substantiated. So I can't blame her for being that upset and speaking out. I can't blame her for not trusting them. Man, something got to give, man. Something has to give. To all of those officers that were inside of that salon, especially the one who put his hands on that woman, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?